Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and at this point, this whole place is functional, and if the bombs dropped right now, we could come in here and we could make a pretty good stand of it. We've got air, we've got water, we have a way of processing waste, we got food, we got all the basic stuff that we need. So now we're kind of bringing things in. Uh, this is uh, some Geiger counters. I put them in this makeshift Faraday cage, just a metal lunchbox that I sealed up with aluminum tape on all the seals. Also a desiccant pack in there to keep things nice and dry. Bringing things in, and also I am... Uh, uh, fixing little uh, issues that I find and one one issue that I found is right under this sink uh, I, There was a, a small leak coming from these threads uh, that are underneath the drain I've never actually seen a leak come from that area before not that I'm I have an extensive experience You know with lots of plumbing jobs, but uh, you know, I've never run across that leaking because this this uh, rubber gasket usually kind of takes care of that So what I'm going to do is just loosen this up and I'm going to throw some Teflon tape on there, I guess. It's kind of odd. You usually just use this to kind of put pressure up in there, and it uh, holds the whole thing together. But for whatever reason, it wasn't happening on this. I'm thinking some Teflon tape will work, uh, you know, just fine. When you put Teflon tape on things, you want to uh, uh, wrap it around in a certain direction, and you want to wrap it around so that it is wrapping in the same direction that you turn the screw in. And the reason for that is, uh, so the, the tattered end here, uh, when you are uh, screwing over it, you're pulling that tattered end as opposed to screwing the other way and, you know, kind of having this all bunch up. So I'm going to be screwing this way, so I want to wrap it this way so that that end will end up going in the right direction. So I'm holding that down. You want to give it like a couple of, couple of wraparounds. Again, I've, I've never used Teflon tape for this particular purpose on this particular joint. All right, there we go. So that's twice around. That should be fine. And it, it's not like there's a lot of, uh, uh, there's no pressure on this thing. It's just, you know, gravity pressure. So now that I've got that all nice there, I'll just screw this back up, and then we'll test it with some uh, water in the sink up there. I think that'll do fine. So let's turn it on. And I had the problem before when I had the thing closed up when I filled it up with water. That's when it had the issue. So we're going to be looking for, unfortunately there's still some wetness from the other day, so it'll be a little more difficult to, uh, to see if we get drips. But it was actually, you know, there were drips falling on the ground before, so if it has the same problem, we should see it. This is an awkward angle, isn't it? Oh, here's some the potassium iodine is in here. Iodide. I always say iodine. It's potassium iodide. I also had some journals, some books, uh, like you know, like regular notebook journal kinds of things. I'm not sure whether they made it out here or not. I've got a list in the house, and I'm checking things off as they physically get in here. I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd pack those, but I don't, uh, I don't see them anywhere in here. They must be still in the house somewhere. This is a lot of the uh, medication for, uh, you know, if you get radiation sickness, that's what all that stuff is. Uh, there's a great video made by. Hoople's cat, uh, which I found really helpful. He did a lot of research. Barium sulfate is another. Don't take my word for it. Check out the Hoople's cat video on uh, you know, um, over-the-counter medications you can take to counteract radiation poisoning. We're looking like we're good. I think. I think I solved it. Did I? It's not dripping. I think we're pretty good. All right, well that's it. So I'm just kind of going through, checking everything, making everything sure everything works. And I'm going to be doing, uh, I think I'll, I might do a live stream while we do the test. It'll just, we'll just be here and we'll be testing things out living in here. And I think I might do a live stream while we do that. I think it might be a fun way of doing it. That's it. Thanks for watching.